Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So one of the first things we've got to have a look at is the data that came out of China there on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, trade balance details coming in at minus 1% was the forecast, came in at minus 8.3. And if we have a look there at Sunday, the PPI was forecast to come at minus 5 and it actually came in at minus 5.4% as well. So um, real bad news out of China, slowed down very much evident there. Um, stock market slide has, has firmly resumed on that side of the world. More stimulus needed by the Chinese government and um, that impact has been felt across uh, some of the other global markets as well. So. Um, you obviously get a bit of a flavor of that on Friday session there. The US 30 actually traded below potential support at 17,361. It's had a slight modest bounce this morning, um, but it's over in the um, in a lot of the other Asian markets where things have gotten a little bit more dicey on that side. So, non farms also out on Friday as well, which uh, came in about 215,000 versus 225 expected. Uh, so a September rate hike apparently is still being talked about, albeit in other parts of the world, it's all over the shop. Um, now most FX pairs, uh, initially the dollar rallied on the back of that NFP, only then to kind of reverse back round. So when we have a look at cable and euro dollar, you'll see, uh, if we have a look at the uh, an interday chart, you'll see it spike down. Um, and then move back to the upside. So we've not seen uh, big, big moves on the US dollar in the right direction, which would be indicative of the fact that they are going to raise rates. Um, but we'll just have to see, see how that pans out. So that's currently where we are with the, the US there. The other technicals are kind of relatively neutral. We are um, grinding a little bit higher this morning in, in, the, in the US. And we have had like some modest little spikes actually on the Germany 30 and UK 100. But um, as I said, it is China that's looking a bit a, a bit weaker. Um, but it is all now about if they're going to do stimulus or not. So maybe that's providing a little bit of short-term support. So moving on to the UK 100, uh, you can see that we failed to break through potential resistance 6771 uh, for the last number of sessions. Today's no different. We're off the session highs. Um, up here, it's had very little movement already this morning. The MACD is quite close to crossing the zero line, which would be positive, where the other technicals are still quite neutral. Uh, yeah, if you need anything, and we are kind of getting sandwiched between this potential resistance and that 55 period at SMA as well. So then moving on to Japan 225, uh, with 2868 being the potential resistance. Um, dollar yen uh, initially did drop down below 124, it was 125 straight after non farm payrolls. Um, and Japan's actually pushing up that little bit, a little better. Some decent data actually coming out of Japan, uh, but we've failed so far to break through 28.68. So moving then on to dollar yen, um, you can see that move that we had there following Friday's non farm payrolls. We're just pretty much on the cusp of that potential resistance at 124.42, we've talked about a number of times. Moving average is grinding up, maybe providing a little bit of short-term price support to get this back above the potential support and keep it above there. It's been rechallenged 126. And then if we move on to West Texas crude, now this is one where you, you really are seeing the effects of um, the Chinese slowdown, the fears of the Chinese slowdown um, with, uh, with, with crude now trading uh, pretty close to the potential support at 43.30. Uh, and in fact, I do need to uh, add my next final support level uh, it's around about 142 uh, and you can just see how far that crude actually has fallen uh, over the last uh, last number of sessions and uh, I might as well just get rid of a, of a number of these potential support levels just to make it look that little bit cleaner. Um, so where, where do we stand relative to other historical price action? Well let's just jump on to a weekly chart and then let's just max that out for a second. Um, that gives you an idea about where we are. And once we, if and when we break our uh, uh, 41 or $42, then 35 is the next logical potential support. And that was the price of crude at the height of the credit crunch, basically at the very bottom part down here. Um, and that is a very interesting chart. So moving on to gold, uh, gold breaking up to the, to the top side. Uh, some traders now beginning to position themselves that the rate hike will not come yeah. in September, perhaps, yeah. with gold. Very volatile session there on Friday. You can just see uh, the candle that we posted on Friday. Um, it gives you a bit of a flavor of, uh, of one minute it's down, next minute it's back up. But we're, we're moving back up just now. And we certainly on the, on the interday charts, it's the third attempt that's having to try and break up that little bit higher. So we'll soon see if it, if it succeeds. So moving on then to euro dollar, and um, as it's uh, kind of grinding higher, we'll just jump on to a five minute chart there for a second. Uh, you can get a bit of an idea uh, where where the price has been going there in the last couple of sessions. 
uh, and you can see um, where where the markets have been just very very kind of whip sawing and seesawing all the way around here uh, and then jumping back onto that one day chart um, you can see that the uh, euro dollar is just trying to make fresh highs for the day just trading ever so slightly uh, above the moving average right here just now with uh, one spot 11 be the next potential support uh, resistance sorry and that also coincides with that 55 period sma as well so finishing up with uh, gbp usd um volatile session on friday 154.24 was potential support it bounced off there pretty much bang on uh it's not as uh, it's maybe towards the top end of a short range, and then on the end of the day charts I'm seeing on the other screen, it's still posting a red candle, so we're actually down for the day. Everything else is kind of flattening out because it maybe feels that a cable is just going to be in a sideways moving market for some time, um, even though we've had that kind of confirmation now that the that the Kearney is delaying, uh, potentially delaying the rate hike because he doesn't want the sterling to be too strong because uh, he feels it could hurt uh, our long term. Um, long-term exports he wants to keep our, ourselves relatively competitive uh, but we're not seeing like a huge massive sell-off on cable but um, certainly we're a little bit away from uh, one spot 56 at the moment so like on the date wise there's not a huge amount out today fast forward on tomorrow ZDW business report at 10 Wednesday you've got more uh, Chinese data you've got employment claims industrial production and crude oil inventories Thursday uh, brings us loads of German CPI and US retail sales. Those figures will be pretty important, keenly watched. And then when we get onto Friday, you've got German GDP, Eurozone CPI, and PPI from the US as well. So not really a huge amount of economic data to kickstart things off, but certainly enough to keep things interesting. So as ever, keep you on the chart forum, make insights part of your layout going forward, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.